dive into the depths of urban ingenuity as we unravel the Makati intra-city subway. A groundbreaking marvel seamlessly connecting you to the beating heart of Makati. Get ready to say hello to a new era of convenience, efficiency, and style. Buckle up subway enthusiasts. This is where innovation meets the bustling pulse of Makati. And welcome to Hello Expert. The Makati Intra City Subway, MKTR, is a forthcoming subterranean rapid transit line situated in Makati Metro Manila. This transit system is set to interconnect various establishments within the city's bustling business district. The construction of this innovative subway is a part of a public-private partnership initiative involving the Makati city government and a private consortium spearheaded by Philippine InfraDev Holdings. Anticipated to commence construction in December 2018, advocates of the subway led by Makati Mayor Abigail Benet aim for its completion by 2025. The projected cost of this transformative project is estimated at $2.5 billion, equivalent to 125 billion pesos, with the expectation of accommodating approximately 700,000 passengers daily. The subway's design includes nine stations and incorporates linkages to the existing MRT Line 3, the Pasig River Ferry Service, and the ongoing construction of the Metro Manila subway. The line will be 10 kilometers long and will have nine stations. The original terminus was supposed to be at the Ayala station with connectivity to the existing MRT Line 3, but was shelved in favor of the new location at the mile-long property along Armosolo Street. Preparatory work officially began on December 12, 2018, following a ceremonial drilling ceremony at the front of the Makati City Hall, which is near the site of one of the proposed stations of the subway. As of June 2019, 8 out of 10 proposed stations have been finalized. The two proposed stations along Ayala Avenue are yet to be finalized due to the non-response from its owners. The upcoming line will use a distant base fare structure and will be charged 20% to 25% higher than the fares of LRT Line 1 and MRT Line 3. A 25% premium will bring the subway's rate to about 38 pesos 69 US cents for 10 stops. All stations will have a standard layout with a concourse level and a platform level. The stations are designed to be barrier-free. All stations will have island platforms with full height platform screen doors. The operational setup of the line involves the deployment of electric multiple units configured in a six-car arrangement, maintaining a headway of three minutes between each unit. The rolling stock specifications encompasses various dimensions and features, including a total train length of 140 meters, with individual car lengths of 24.4 meters for DM cars and 22.8 meters for MT cars. The train's width measures 3 meters, height from the top of the rail stands at 3.81 meters, and floor height from the top of the rail is 1.13 meters. The configuration follows a DM, MT, TM, DM arrangement with a passenger capacity of 1,350 and sliding doors measuring 1,400 millimeters, propelled by 1,500 VDC overhead line traction power. The rolling stock features IGBT VVVF traction control, a top speed of 80 km per hour, and operates a semi ATO GOA2 safety system adhering to a gauge of 1,435 mm. As of now, the status indicates that these specifications are yet to be ordered. Post the 2019 elections, Antonio Tu, president of Philippine InfraDev, expressed openness to forging similar partnerships agreement with neighboring cities of Macau.